that lies between us and this divine light that can reach our hearts and our souls <coughs> to the point of almost feeling its physicality in the Quran Allah mentions concerning normal obedient subjects we will grant him a fine life that's the minimum this is verse uh, 97 of Surah 16 another ayah in the Quran states and I don't have the, the number it's a very uh, uh, often quoted ayah is it not that with the mention of Allah do hearts find peace ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'innu al-qulub this is where the mention of Allah brings peace to the heart the mention of our creator now that was as I said concerning normal obedient subjects with more dedication and perseverance more will happen uh, one of the uh, great righteous persons in Islam said we are in a bliss if the kings knew about they would fight us over it with swords This is a report about this type of bliss when the person gets nearer and nearer to perceiving in his heart the light of our Creator in his heart. That had to do with this life. In the hereafter, in Surah 9, Ayah 72, Allah promised the believers, men and women, gardens under which rivers are flowing, remaining forever therein, and fine abodes in the gardens of Eden, and greater good pleasure from Allah, meaning His acceptance, meaning His love acceptance. That is the supreme triumph. End of the ayah. Must be noted here that those who mock a partial quotation from this ayah, rivers, maidens, virgins, ha, Islam is so materialistic. Persons who speak in that manner are indeed the more materialistic ones by dropping the most important part of it as stated in the ayah that is the supreme triumph what's the supreme triumph? maidens? rivers? no and greater good pleasure from Allah and those persons who truncate this verse remind us of a very uh, popular example in the Muslim world concerning another verse where Allah says O you who believe that was at the time when the forbidding alcohol was uh, being revealed gradually to the Muslim nations uh, to help them stop it step by step in the first stages of the process the verse was revealed O you who believe do not near prayer while intoxicated until you know what you're saying the proverb the uh, nice uh, always similitude is people who say oh Allah said do not near prayer cutting off the remainder of the sentence uh, it's always a funny thing to mention and it applies to people criticizing a half of an ayah that they selected but after omitting the important part of the ayah 
another ayah Surah 75 ayahs 22-23 mentions about the hereafter people in paradise faces radiant that day looking at their Lord mentions it as this is one of the pleasures of the hereafter uh, the hereafter as described in Islam describes spiritual and personal treasures so we have seen how the word worship in its use in the Quran and its, uh, its understanding by the highest scholar of Islam conveys the meaning of knowing our Creator to the point of loving Him, to the point of worshipping Him. In here we can uh, uh, refer to the meaning of the word worship used by teenagers in societies wrongly so or rightly so that's another issue we're talking about the meaning when they speak about actors singers teenage idols etc people who reject religion have no objection understanding what these teenagers mean by the word and it's very un, unfair and unreasonable for them to cry wolf, to cry objection when that same word is used in the same meaning of love but much higher that love here includes appreciation of features, appreciation of gifts. These are high moral values appreciated by mature people. It's extremely unreasonable and biased for whatever reasons. I cannot see the reason that would make, make people get so biased as to object against the word worship and the implications and the implications in commitment that for Muslims will touch every part of his life the more the love the more the responsibility of appreciation the more the commitment we uh, turn now to a hadith that coincides in meaning with this ayah that we have, I have created mankind and jinn but to worship me in the meaning to know me, then love me, then worship me. A weak hadith in the sense that a weak hadith cannot be used to deduce legislation but it can be used to add understanding to insight toward moral values or spiritual values this hadith states he created creation to be known as it coincides with the explanation of the ayah by Ibn Abbas this makes the meaning of the hadith not weak anymore we have just the textual wording that has not been narrated with a strong chain of narrators by the way this gives an appreciation on purpose these details are given to give an appreciation of the methodology of checking the truthfulness of what we Muslims accept for our life you say we don't take baloney and the listener would not take baloney 
any story that you get that you would not allow to be used against you in order to pay ten dollars 